by way of the feeding. Amen. Amen. We got some people in the house. Some friends have come by. Amen. Thank God for them being here on this morning. Uh, and I think she's a singer too. Amen. I'm going to put you on the spot. I'm going to put you on the spot. So before. And when we, after we receive our offering, we're going to ask that you to come if you don't mind and, and just render a solo if you don't mind. 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 I'm getting a smile. There you go. She said, I don't mind. Amen. Let's give God a hand of praise. We should be more than willing to do so. So we thank God for each one of you. We're going to receive our offering. I promise you, if the Lord helped me this morning, uh, we try to be out of here uh, by 8.45, 9 o'clock at the very latest. Amen. I didn't get no way, man. You put your own stay on. Amen. 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 Uh, I'm going to ease on down the road and we're going to move on and let the Lord have his way. Uh, for those of you that came to give and have to give, we ask that you be a blessing to the ministry that God will continue to keep us during this time. There are churches, um, like I said, my phone rang and rang and rang about churches that are closing up and they don't know what they're going to do after this pandemic because uh, people are not tithing, people are not going to church. It is amazing. Uh, the church always takes the, the greatest hit. expectation of the church. Amen. I know the man I know the truth. Uh, they expect the church to be there Amen. even when they don't show up. Amen. Uh -huh. They expect the church to be a viable entity even though they don't give. Yeah. And, and then they want to criticize the church until somebody in their family dies. Yeah. And they want the church
Some folk only love you for what you can do for them. Yeah. And after you can't do nothing for them, it's like what Roberta Flack and Donny Hathaway sang, Where is the love? Yeah. Yeah. Earth, Wind, and Fire said, After the love is gone, yeah. Yeah. how could you leave me on? <laughs> then there's another love that was very interesting called. Ludus. Ludus. And there's some folks that have a Ludus attitude. Because Ludus is a playful love. They play like they love you. Alright, alright. Uh, it's called a flirtatious love. Y'all, 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 don't act like y'all ain't ran to a flirtatious love. You thought the way that they were coming on to you, that they were loving you, yeah. only to know that they were just being flirtatious. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was no future in it. There was right. no substance in it. It was just flirtatious. Yeah. And just because somebody look at you and smile at you, don't mean they like you. That's right. That's right. Hello, somebody. Uh, oh, he smiled at me and he liked me. Oh, I caught her eye. That's all you did. She met me looking at you, trying to get away from me. <laughs> But the biblical importance that is stressed of four types of love. The first is called eros. And we got to be careful because eros is a sexual love. Feelings of being aroused between people who are physically attracted. That's all. Ain't nothing beyond physical attraction. Mm -hmm. Old Testament says this and they express physical and sensual intimacy between husband and wife. However, that has changed dramatically as we are in, uh, uh, this world has changed. This world has changed with the surge of the LGBTQ, XYZ, TUV, whatever all of these different acronyms are. And it is really the basis of pornography. Okay. That's where you get pornography from, from Eros. I'm going to move from that because y'all got quiet. I don't know if y'all <laughs> have an Eros love going on. But anyway, the next one is Phileo, which refers to a brotherly love, which is often exhibited between close friends. Philadelphia is called the city of brotherly love. But it is a bond between two entities, parents, siblings, family, members, close friends. But the basis of Philea is loyalty. All right, all right. And oh, how difficult it is to find loyal friendship. All right. The next love was Sturge, which is empathy or bond between family the immediate members of your family as children. And this type of love is set to help a child develop through achievement and encouraging them into being in a place of security. That's a real difficult place right now. It's a place where you're supposed to teach your children and encourage them to be achievers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't talk down to them and tell them you ain't going to never be nothing. Mm. And no matter what happened, if you and that man broke up, don't put in that child, you ain't nothing no good, you just like your no good dad. That is not a good recipe for success. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We in our community have been so derogatory toward ourselves and toward our children to the point where the children have no direction and because they don't have any direction they don't have any influence except for negativity and without having any positive things to say mm. our children it's a sad scenario when you look and talk to children that say I don't expect to live past 25 mm. God said, I am the God of the living yeah, and yeah. not the dead. Right. 
takes no joy in those that have died, especially in young age, because there was nobody to give them some direction. Nobody to encourage them. Nobody to let them know no matter how bad it looks, you are a winner. You can be a victorious individual. There's so many great stories that we need to tell about those that had nothing, started out with nothing, but they wound up because somebody said, you can make it. Simple, you can make it. You can make it. That's what Sturge says. But the ultimate love is called agape. Yes, yes. Agape is unconditional. Yes, yes. It is selfless love. It is a universal love. A love for the higher power, which is God. It's spiritual. It's, it is something that has plenty of clarity. You know how God loves you because he woke you up this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He started you on your way. When you, when you laid down last night, it was not a guarantee that you should get up this morning. All right. It's because he touched us with his finger of love and told us, live on for a little while longer. In this chapter here, as I come to my close real quick, the words of God expressed to Zion of Jerusalem as a reminder that the mercies he promised us as a nation, when he made a covenant with the forefathers, he shall never ever fail. He's not going back on his word. If he made a promise, you can guarantee him. He told him, he told him, he told him, he told him, I'm going to be your God and I'm going to bring you to me with love. Because I'm not going to make you love. It's no kind of love that you got to make somebody love you. If you got to make somebody love you, you keep your love. You got to make somebody like you, keep your love. You got to make somebody trust you, keep your trust. But Jesus said through the word of God, through God speaking to Jeremiah, it is when love and kindness have I drawn you. It was love that lifted me. It was love that set me free. Look at how he did in loving kindness have I drawn me. Look at all the things that he allowed you to go through. And yet he loved you enough in every pitfall, in every mistake, in every right and wrong turn you made. Yeah. He still drew you with yeah. love. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. I don't know how you can love a God like that. Yeah. That no matter what you've done, and we've done some stuff, you don't, don't fool me. Don't act like you ain't done nothing. There's a whole lot of stuff yeah. that we've done that God could have turned his back on us and said, I don't need him, but it was with loving kindness. Drew me out of the pits of sin and depredation and got me and dusted me and cleaned me up and turned me around with loving kindness. Loving kindness. Taking all the opportunities of doing us <laughs> and then there's some things he loved us enough he prevented us from doing all right, all right. If they get a witness now yeah. there was some folk that we wanted to run with and God blocked that yeah. Yeah. there was some people that we wanted to go some places with and God blocked that yeah. there was some situations we could have been in and God blocked yeah. that because he was drawing us yeah. Yeah. with his love and his kindness. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, I, 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 used to, I used to wonder when my mother would whip me. She said, I'm whipping you because I loved you. And I said, if you love me like that, I don't want that kind of love. If you got to whoop me to love me, then I don't want that kind of love. But God said, I don't have to whoop you. I'll drown you. With love and with kindness. Show you how much he loved us as I go to my seat. The Bible said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whom 
whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That's the kind of love I'm looking for. God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world. And the Lord said, no man taketh my life, and I'm going to lay it down for my friends. So glad today, uh, yeah, that I am a friend of God. Did you hear what I'm saying? I know I have a lot of associates that would love for me to call friend. But I and tell them just the other day what a friend we have in Jesus all of our sin and griefs to bear what a privilege it is to carry every one of my sins to God in prayer oh what needless pains we bear
money ain't going out the door every which way, and then you scratching your head tomorrow. Where did that money go? Now you're looking and say, where did that money come from? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Lord. There's a lesson right now that we're learning that there's some things that we thought we had to have. Yeah. We don't really need. That's right. Some folk are so fashion conscious and so caught up with clothes. Ain't going to <laughs> but before going in the store, brother, bro, they came to go in their closet and they push it back and hold it yeah. on one side and push it back yeah. on another right. and trying to grab the clothes, clothes yeah. up all on top of their head. Yeah. But you find out you don't even need it. Right. Right. Every time you go somewhere, you just went in there and picked up something and kept on going because you can't go to the mall. Yeah. And some of us are just too impatient to wait for it to come. You know, when you order online, or ordering online, ordering online, and then now you're paying extra because you want it the next day delivered. You don't want to wait for it to come ready to ground mail with it's five to seven working days. You want it right now. Yeah. And now you find out when you get it, it ain't what you really wanted, and you got to send it back. <laughs> so now you don't waste your time. Yeah, yeah. On those simple things yeah, yeah. that you thought you needed. Now you're taking time and God's got your attention. You talk to him. Yeah. 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 You, 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 talk, you got more time to talk to him now yeah. than ever before. And the thing of it is, you ain't begging him. You're thanking him. Yeah. Well, I wish I had a witness now. Before you was asking, Lord, give me this, give me this, give me that now. You, you, you at home, you thank it, Lord, I thank God I got a roof over my head. Yeah. 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 Going to the refrigerator, you got food in your refrigerator, yeah. more than what you had before you was yeah. trying to figure you'd rob Peter to pay Paul, and I don't know how that works, you know. The folks say, well, I'm going to do this with my hands. My, men, my hands ain't never met each other. <laughs> but now I can go in the refrigerator and I can look, I got orange juice. Yeah. I didn't go and buy soda, I went and bought orange juice. I bought grapefruit juice, I bought things that would go be healthy because I'm trying to live. And those of us that have been blessed enough to go down to the church here and get food, it's been a blessing to the people. And people have been fed, and, and, and sometimes I'm looking at the food, I ain't eat, ate nothing, but I, I ain't hungry either. When I look at it, I say, oh, that would have been good. Uh, that would have been good. They had the sliced brisket, that was good. And the chicken, that was all that was good. But the, but, uh, this, right, the stuffed bell pepper. But the blessing is God has sustained us in spite of what the world is. And for that, we ought to be grateful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That we ought to show God gratitude. Yeah, cool. It's important. Yeah. Now, this, this is your season yeah. to give God thanks. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'll say that again. Yeah. This is your season. Yeah. When you wake up, it's a new yeah. mercy. You ought to be yeah. thankful. Yeah. It's a time now have never before to really evaluate your relationship with God and be thankful for everything that he does for you. Amen. Everything. 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 I, I, I came in this morning and my email popped up. Somebody's about to be evicted. Want to know? Can I help them? Where can they go? So now I leave here trying to help somebody find somewhere to stay. Amen. Amen. You go leave here going to your home. Yeah. Our yes. place to stay. Yes. Yeah. I tell you this last thing about that wheel. I've said this before. It's a big wheel sitting on top of the little wheel that was in the mud. The big wheel was looking down at the little wheel in the mud and yeah. said, look at you. Yeah. You dirty. Yeah. You muddy. Yes. You don't look like nothing. Yes. And the little wheel looked up at the big wheel and said, but it only takes one turn. All right, all right. And I'll be on top looking at you. God has been
Yes, yes. Let's tell those of you that can and will give it to the ministry. We'd appreciate it during this time that we're ministering unto you. We're not on salary. We're not begging for anything. God has been good to me. Amen. God has been good to me. There are people that have come up and dropped money in my hand. All right, all right. People have sent money in the mail. I was shocked. Amen. But I thank God that it came. All right, all right, all right. God knows how to bless you and when to bless you. So I'm not worried. Yes. If I have it, I have it. If I don't, I just don't. I keep on like, like the late Eddie Kendrick said, I keep on trucking. Amen. Keep on moving. Keep on pushing. All right, those of you that are giving to the ministry, you guys should come on and at this time while you're coming, pass the choir the same. <laughs> 